running the numbers on a side-by-side -side duplex in one of my favorite neighborhoods. Chris from Arizona, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Chris from Arizona, my man, thank you for purchasing an analysis. Uh, the product you purchased today is cool. You want uh, a level up, right? You didn't just get the, the base level analysis. You actually uh, wanted me to find you something, so you purchased the MLS search and analysis. So I have scoured the MLS, and I think I have found you something that will work perfectly for what you want to do. Now, Chris, uh, longtime client, so you probably know um, that you're privately watching this right now. Nobody else can see this link. It's just for you. Uh, but after this property is no longer available, after it's closed, I will release it publicly so everyone can learn from all the free content on Holton Wise TV. Uh, so for those other people watching uh, your video down the road, Chris, I kind of want to use a little bit of your story um, to inspire them uh, to do a little bit of what you're doing. Uh, so for everyone else who's watching this uh, episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show, um, Chris, he's, he's a longtime client of mine. He's out in Arizona. And the cool thing about what Chris does is, uh, like, there's, like, two ways you can invest out of state, okay? You can go to a large corporation like Holton Wise, and we will literally do everything for you, top to bottom, right? That's what we do. That's why so many of you are attracted to us. But there are some of you, and I talk about this in a, lo in a lot of content, whether it be here on Holton Wise TV or in various blog posts that I write for other websites, uh, there are some investors who want to be a little bit more hands-on, want to like really try to eke out more profits, you know, try to reduce their cost. And to do that, it's very doable, but it's very, very difficult. Uh, but my guy Chris here, he does that. He's more involved in his portfolio. So he is one of those out-of-state investors that actually kind of went out and he built his own team like piecemeal and he is like really, really involved. So like he goes out and he hires his own contractors himself, you know, so he's acting as in the supervisory role. As far as his management, uh, I'm not 100% sure on how he does it. I believe he might either be doing it himself uh, or he's just like hiring various handymen to help out. So what he's able to do by being willing to be a guy who's able to get his hands dirty and like be involved in the day-to-day -day operations of his business, uh, he's able to achieve a higher level of profitability. And that's totally fine. Like me and Chris, we still do deals together. You know, he is just using the services that we can provide here at Holton Wise on an a la carte basis. And I actually love that and I want to encourage that. It's not for everyone though, right? Like my guy Chris, he's a seasoned investor, guys. If you are like a brand new investor and you're just watching this and you've never bought rental property before, you're fucking crazy if you think you're gonna come from like LA to Cleveland and build your own thing from the ground up. Don't do that, that's stupid. The money you're paying me is gonna pay it back a million times over. But maybe you've been in the game and you have rentals in other markets and now you wanna do something in Cleveland but you know what you're doing and you're willing to get dirty, you have the time to get dirty, then you know I just wanted to highlight Chris's story because he is an actual example uh, of someone who's done it and he's done it well and it's working for him. <laughs> Although I will say this, I will say this, Chris. Uh, for, for, it's, it's funny because from time to time, I've sold Chris several properties, from time to time Chris does reach out to me and uh, because his wife is mad at him for spending too much time fucking with his real estate and uh, not paying attention to you know other things they got going on and he's a little bit stressed out dealing with his real estate from time to time he has reached out to me in consideration of selling his portfolio uh, but ultimately he's not doing that and he's actually adding to it but that just goes to show you a seasoned investor it's not super easy it's still a tough difficult job so there's gonna be pros and there's gonna be cons like 
yeah, I think he's probably etching out more of a profit because he's getting himself dirty. But again, he's got those stresses, which is why he feels like that every now and again. Uh, but, but enough about that. Let's get into specifically what I have found for Chris. Uh, Chris, you are looking um, for an asset class B to C. You want to spend between 80 and 100K. Now, some of the deals that you've done in the past, you have really made yourself some serious equity, uh, like that one multifamily in Cleveland Heights that you and I did like a year and a half ago. You know, I know I've known we've talked about selling that a few times, and I know you're going to make a huge amount of money on the sale of that thing. Like I'm talking, I if memory serves me correct, I, I think you're going to be able to sell that for probably thirty-five to forty thousand dollars more uh, than what you have into it plus your repairs. Uh, so you want to you really force some equity by getting your hands dirty there. Uh, so great job out of you on that one. Uh, but for this one, you want to go a little bit lower stress. You just want to finance it. You don't mind doing any light rehab, but you don't want to do a whole big on project because that was a lot of work, obviously. Like you, you made that money, but you earned every penny of that because you did a lot of work on that one. Uh, so you're just looking uh, for something a little bit easier, BC class neighborhood. You don't mind Section 8, and you're hoping to make uh, three or $4,000 a year. And uh, if you're crazy, you said, if I'm crazy here, let me know. Um, but I don't think you're crazy. I, I think that's, that's pretty doable. Now, obviously... I'm sure, I'm sure you've noticed, right? The market has continued to go up uh, since you started investing out here in Cleveland. Um, so that, that multi that you made all that money on, uh, it's gonna be very difficult to put deals together like that, but I still found you something really nice uh, that meets this criteria. It is a duplex 261-263 East 250th Street in Euclid, 44132. This is listed by a Remax Realtor uh, for ninety-nine thousand nine hundred. They just listed this twelve days ago. Let's look up the pictures right here. I really, really like this duplex for you, Chris, because the cool thing about this one is it's a side by side. It's not an up down. I really, really like the side by side. It's actually two separate parcels. Uh, very, very uncommon, but in the Cleveland market, in the uh, in the Euclid, uh, Euclid's the only city that I've ever seen this. They've actually, these are, this is actually technically considered two. There's two separate parcels. Like the last time one of these sold, the, the guy who owns both of them now, he had already owned one. He bought uh, one of them for like 48,000 a year or so ago. But now they're just selling you the whole thing. So you get the entire thing side by side. Two beds, one bath. Here's the pictures. It's fully occupied right now. So this is just the pictures they must have had before they placed the one tenant in there. Not too shabby, like uh, not, not too, too bad here. Just, you know, they got the cream, so it's, at least it's a neutral color. I prefer gray or agreeable gray. Uh, this was the style maybe like four or five years ago, but nothing too, too bad. Now you got your own separate basements. Uh, here's your furnace. It's probably a 15, 20-year-old furnace. Your bathroom is a little dated, uh, but not, not too horrible. This is a second bath. This is in the basement there, so it's more or less a bonus. Um, just, just more, more stuff in the basement here. Another room, another bedroom. This bathroom, it's a little bit dated. Um, we'll get a little into that a little bit more later. Uh, you know, a nice tile job around the tub, tub shower surround. I like that. Don't know why you would, uh, highlight this wallpaper, but whatever. Um, here's the other unit. This one, uh, at the time the, the realtor took the pictures you know, already had a tenant in place. This kitchen is a little bit more dated, so add a turnover, you may want to address that, but I'll get into that in a little bit here. Same thing, bathroom, a little bit dated. Uh, tile, definitely more dated, okay. Uh, this furnace appears to be a lot newer. I would guess this is probably about like five years old. We'll have to see what the agent specifically wrote in her remarks to see if they mentioned it. I don't recall if they did. Updated electrical uh, drive little garage, backyard, you even got the separation with the fence because again, two separate parcels. Now, this is why I like this property so much. This is why I think it's going to meet your goals. I think we got like a little bit of hidden value here. Those units, they're rented, but they're rented under market, bro. Uh, 650 for the one, 700 for the other one. So that's 1,350 uh, a month, 16,200 a year. As far as what the agent specifically said, I'm just going to read you their, their remarks, exactly what they said, word for word here. Calling all investors side-by-side 
brick duplex, an area close to shopping, Lakeshore Boulevard, and on bus route. Uh, permanent parcel numbers, they list both parcels because, like I said, uh, two separate parcels. One tenant on a month-to-month, -month, one tenant on long-term CMHA lease. Rent has never been increased. More on that later. Uh, both rents under market, yes. Both have range and oven and refrigerator, kind of irrelevant. Fence backyard separates the units. Yep, we saw that in the pictures. Partially finished basements, uh, we saw a little bit of that. Each side has separate concrete driveway and detached garage. Each has separate basement with glass block windows. Each has circuit breaker boxes. Each has separate utilities, vinyl replacement windows. Okay, so that's what she wrote. Let's break down the numbers uh, of what I think we can achieve out of this property. Uh, the costs, right? Because um, we're going to get into how much you're going to make. Is it going to hit your three to four thousand dollar year goal? So we're bringing in thirteen fifty, sixteen thousand two hundred. Yes, I think we can increase those rents, but I don't even want to worry about that at this time. I'll get into that shortly. Uh, so you know. You're not new to the game. You kind of understand this, but I just want to go through this anyway. So your repairs, your vacancy, your capital expenditures. I penciled in 67 bucks for those uh, per month. So it's 804 a year for each. The taxes, Euclid's taxes are a little bit higher. Um, it's one of the higher uh, tax, um, tax neighborhoods in the Cleveland market. But uh, some of your other portfolio, like I know that one is in Cleveland Heights. So you're kind of used to that. 3372 a year or 280 a month insurance we're looking at 80 or 960 a year water sewer i think for units like this 75 a unit so 150 a month 1800 uh, for the landscaping i don't know what you're paying i just penciled in like what people would pay if, if Holton wise were doing it it's going to be 528 a year that's 16 cuts at an average of 33 bucks so if you break that out over 12 months it's 44 and for property management if you're paying a company like Holton wise it's 135 a month or 1620 a year so currently the property brings in 1350 a month uh, or 16200 a year after you back out all of your expenses of eight ninety a month, ten thousand six hundred eighty a year, that brings you a net operating income of four sixty a month or five thousand five hundred twenty a year. But you want to finance this bad boy. You don't really want to do a full on burr, which I understand, man. It's, it's a lot, a lot of work. Um, but this will still work good in my opinion. So. If you buy it for $99,900, and who's to say you can't get a couple bucks off uh, the purchase price there? $99,900, you get a mortgage, you're 25% down, so you're looking at $25,650 down. That leaves you with a mortgage of $74,250, which is a mortgage payment of $376 a month or $4,512 a year. And if anyone is wondering how I got those numbers, right here, holtonwise.com, okay? You go holtonwise.com, tools and resources. This is all free for all of you guys to use. Go to the tools and resources tab. I got some great tools and resources. By the way, one thing right here, the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. Uh, you heard me earlier tell Chris that the taxes in Euclid are kind of high. Um, if you click on the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, I've graded all neighborhoods on an A to F scale. And I've also included the, that neighborhood's tax rate. So you'll see that Euclid is a B neighborhood and its taxes are kind of on the high side. I love Euclid. This is something that Chris already knows, but for everyone else who's watching, I think Euclid is one of the hottest spots in the Cleveland market because uh, the Amazon Fulfillment Center was just built there. So we have a ton of new jobs in that area. I really, really like this area. I just think it's like a solid working class area. And then you have like such a huge employer right there. You're gonna, of course, have a huge rental demand in this area. And these are the types of properties that people that work in jobs like that uh, are gonna want, right? Like if uh, it was a big employer and all the jobs are $150,000 a year, well, they're not gonna rent your duplex from you, right? That's just not the housing market they're interested in. But these are like 15 to $20 an hour jobs. The people that make 15 to $20 an hour, that is like the prime, you know, targeted tenant you wanna go after. So I love Euclid, so you'll, you'll see more information on Euclid in the ultimate guide. But down here, boom, we got the mortgage calculator, okay? So you can just punch in the numbers right into this bad boy. So 74,250 would be our mortgage over 30 years, and then it will punch out our numbers. So the 37621. 
Uh, going back to my chart here that we create, just so everyone's aware, uh, I don't feel like dealing with pennies anymore, so I've just been rounding everything to the dollar. So uh, calculator punches out a payment of 376.21. So 376 a month, 4,512 a year. That, Chris, brings you a net cash flow after your mortgage payment of 84 a month or $1,008 a year. Now, I didn't forget about your goal and I don't think your goal is wrong. You want to make between three and four thousand dollars. That is totally doable and it is totally doable on this property, bro. Now, we are getting currently 1,350 a month, 650 and 700. With the fact that this is a side-by-side -side duplex, there is like no reason that you cannot increase those rents. You can get those rents, market rents on this, my opinion, 800 bucks a month. So that's gonna bring in an additional $250 a month. So that would take your cash flow from 84 a month to 334. If you break that out over the year, that's gonna just bring you just north of 4,000, you know, like 4,008. So that is actually a 15% cash on cash return. If you look at the asset, just how it is in my chart again, I wrote the cash on cash return at 3.9% because that chart is based on current numbers. But in all actuality, with what I know you can increase this up to, you're looking at something closer to a 15% cash on cash. Now, as far as what kind of money you need to spend to get yourself up to those $800 a month rents, that's yet to be seen. I don't really know specifically, right? One of those tenants, you know, the, the realtor, she said it right here, long-term CMHA lease. Another thing, um, if you go to my website, okay, you go to our FAC, investor FAC, right here, boom, we got a section eight FAC. Now for a two bedroom, HUD's fair market rents, 892, CMHA's payment standard, 981. I've never gotten that high for a two bedroom. There is like a whole like process that you have to go through to actually get CMHA to, to increase your rent or to make a rental offer. Um, that's what this is. This is a whole section eight fact. So it kind of explains all of that process. It's, it's very confusing and it is a shit ton of legwork um, to do that. But I guess I'm, I wanna highlight, what I'm trying to highlight is I'm not trying to tell you, Chris, I think you'll get 981. I'm just trying to tell you that like the, the current rent, 650,700, should be easily increased and hopefully you can increase that CMHA tenants rent without a vacancy. It'd be great if you can just make your case to section eight that they need to increase this rent so you don't have to spend any money on that turnover cost. So that, my opinion, I think the baseline for that, like cash paying tenants will pay 800, no problem. You make nice units. So if you just kept everything the same, I would be shocked if you got less than 800 from CMHA go for the gold, try to get them to pay you 981, but I, I can't guarantee you'll get that, but I, I'd be shocked if you got less than 800. So that takes care of one tenant. The other tenant, they know, they know that they're paying way under market rent. I mean, dude, these are $800 units. What I really, really like about this is the fact that it's side by side. Side by sides are so much better than those up down duplexes, man. Like here we literally, I mean, technically, you literally are buying two single-family townhomes, really, because there are separate parcels. They've been sold individually uh, in the past, okay? So technically, they're still sold individually. You know, this is, like, great. You don't have shared laundry, right? These two tenants, they don't have shared laundry. You don't have somebody above you, below you making noise. Uh, so I think increasing that tenant's rent without making them move out, you know, only getting them up that extra 100 bucks. Maybe you do it 50 bucks this year, 50 bucks next year, something like that. So I really think you can easily get yourself to that $1,600 a month range without really spending any money on rehab. Now, if you do, of course, get yourself a vacancy, I would, I would say, you know, to, to refresh the units. The one was a little more modern than the other one. So that one, you're just looking at like basically paint and maybe you want to update the floors uh, in the kitchen, the bath and like update the bath vanity. So maybe really like a $5,000 reno. The other one had a really ugly kitchen, so if that, that goes vacant, I think you're going to want to maybe spend ten grand uh, to really deck it out. But, you know, it remains to be seen when specifically you're going to have to do that. Expanding your real estate holdings to multiple markets is a great way to reduce your risk. Birmingham, Alabama features an unemployment rate that is well below the national average. In fact, Birmingham's growing tech scene has been highlighted by both Fords and Barons. That, 
coupled with Birmingham's low price to rent ratio is why so many investors from around the US have been flocking to the area to put their money to work. Spartan Invest has helped hundreds of investors successfully buy cash flowing real estate in Birmingham. With an average tenant stay of 39 months, it's easy to see why Spartan Invest maintains an annual occupancy rate above 95%. To learn more about the turnkey opportunities in Birmingham, Alabama, contact Spartan Invest today at 205-202-4118 or visit them online at spartaninvest.com. If you would like Holton Wise to sell a property you already own in a video just like this one, send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. Welcome back, Chris. Um, one more thing too before we end out this video that I have not mentioned. Uh, I'm sure you're already familiar. You're familiar with POS reports. Uh, Euclid is a, a POS city, so you do have to get a POS. Now the sellers, they have not made any mention of the POS in their listing. I believe, because you got yourself a residential real estate agent that is listing this property. At the price point of 99,500, I believe that you should be able to negotiate the fact that this thing comes POS clear. I really don't think you, you should really have to do much, if any, renovation to this property for this price point. I'm not even sure if they've ordered it. If maybe they haven't ordered it, maybe you write your offer contingent on them making it clear. You know, sometimes this does happen, man. Sellers, they order these things and they realize there's some work they didn't anticipate doing. Like going back to the pictures, uh, da, 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 da. like this driveway, like it's it's very possible that Euclid is going to cite that. So sometimes these sellers, they go, ah, oh, shit, and they don't realize uh, that they're going to have to do some of that work. Um, they they want they want to wait till they get an offer because um, they don't want to like order it from the city because then the sellers are typically scared that if uh, if they order the POS and then the buyers never actually buy the property, they're they're stuck having uh, to fix it. And if you get realtors who aren't familiar with POS cities, like you get a lot of residential realtors that like primarily work like the A-class suburbs and then they end up listing a one-off rental property for maybe like a client who they sold their family home to. They're not familiar with the POS process and the whole thing kind of runs away from them. But I think all of that in the grand scheme of things, bro, is going to be kind of like a positive for you. Because I, I really, really like this duplex, and I think everybody else is looking at this like a duplex that brings in thirteen fifty. But you and I, we're looking at it like, oh, dude, we could bring in sixteen hundred, and we know as longtime investors that we are going to have arguably lower vacancy, lower turn uh, turnover costs, lower bullshit because of the fact that it's side by side. I didn't really quantify that in the chart when I, g I gave the estimate for your repairs, your vacancy, your capex, I used my normal metric that I would use for all duplexes in Euclid, which is essentially 5% of those rents. Uh, that's what I would normally do. I think that's a fair conservative estimate, but you know, just being a long time investor, me and you, you know that this property, if we had this property and we had one next to it, and that was an up down over the next 15 years, we, we would both assume that the up down would see more turnover, which of course is going to require more repairs and just like more wear and tear. Maybe not necessarily CapEx. CapEx, I guess that's a bad example because, you know, how many people moving in and out doesn't really affect the hot water tank, furnace, or the roof. But you get the point. It will affect your vacancy and your repairs. So I think over the long haul, this is a really good property. And seeing as they haven't said anything about the POS, I would say since the price, it's, it's, it's not like super low. It's not like an extreme steal, but it's a great deal. I think you should uh, come into this, offer full price, ask for a clear POS. If they order the POS and it's like something, you know, small, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, maybe you can get them to deduct uh, maybe 150%. Like maybe if it's a $10,000 POS because you got to do the driveway, maybe you get yourself a $15,000 discount. Not really sure. But if you picked it up at $100,000 with clear POS, you are sailing smooth, man. That's a freaking awesome deal. If there's like a $10,000 POS, uh, I would try to get 15000 off. They may balk at that because, again, it is a solid property. Uh, so if you meet them somewhere in the middle, like even with the $10,000 POS, if you're at a price point like in the mid-90s, I still think you are doing pretty good. Um, so that's why I found this deal for you. That's why I think in the Cleveland market right now, this is the best opportunity for you to hit all of those goals. 
Uh, so if you want, you could use my services. I'll represent you as a buyer's agent again, like we've done in the past. If you want to go directly to that listing agent uh, to try to etch out a little bit more profit, because you know if you go directly to her, she's getting paid double than uh, any other offer. You know, any other offer where she's offering some of that commission to buyer's agents like myself, she's not as enticed to push your offer forward to that seller. You might be able to work, work yourself a little bit more money. Seasoned investor like you, shouldn't be a problem. But if you want my services, you want to make sure you have the Holton Wise team here for you. That is not a problem, dude. We would love to write this offer for you. As far as the management goes, we would have no problem managing this asset for you, but I know you do your own thing and I applaud you for doing that and you've done it very successfully. And again, I think you're kind of an inspiration to a lot of the other viewers out there. So thank you for that. Um, that's everything I've got for you today, Chris. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.